welcome back everyone so today i will be talking about the pc cleaner that is one of the best and the free disk cleaner and system optimizer for both windows 10 and windows 11. so pc cleaner is a free optimization tool that can help you to run your computer faster and more securely it can also help you in removing all kind of junk and cache from your computer and from your browser it can help you in optimizing your windows it also provides you many kind of debloater through which you can debloat many kind of application. There are many more things that you can enjoy for absolutely free. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now before starting guys, make sure that if this video helped you out, then please hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notifications. You can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any kind of your PC and laptop problem. All right, now the best part of this application, this tool is that it's available on Microsoft Store and you don't have to visit any kind of third party website. So bring up your Microsoft Store. Then you have to search for PC Cleaner, Disk Clean and System Optimizing. And you will be getting this option here, this tool. Now here you have to click on install. Now in case if you have any problem or trouble while installing from the Microsoft Store, then I have already created a video that how you can download any kind of Microsoft Store application without the Microsoft Store. So if you have any problem downloading from here, then you can watch that video and download the application through that method. Now once it's been downloaded, you have to click on open. Click on yes. And once opened, you will be getting this kind of neat and clean dashboard. And it says PC Cleaner System Optimizer. Now here you can see on the very top there are a few categories like Cleaner, General, Windows 11, UWP Application, Startup, Network, Host, Registry, Hardware and Integrator. So these are the categories that help you to optimize and clean your Windows PC and Laptop. So let's start with the Cleaner and in the Cleaner section you get Windows section where you can clean your temporary file, the BSOD mini dumps, the error report and empty your recycle bin. So anytime if you want to clean all this junk, simply you will have to select it. Then on the right hand side, you will find the cleaner option. You will simply have to clean it. All right. Similarly, if you want to clear the cache, cookies, history, session and the password for your Google Chrome, then you can do from here. It also provides you the same option for Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser and Internet Explorer. Now next we have the general option. And in the general, you get many kind of optimization tool and it says optimize performance. So you have to enable it. Then it says optimizer network. So if you want to optimize your network, then you can also do that. Simply enable it. Disable error reporting. Disable compatibility assistant. Disable print service. So there are many kind of services here that is recommended that you should disable it in case if you're not using it. So let's say if you're not using the printer, then you can disable it. If you're not using the fax, you can disable it. If you don't use the sticky keys, then you can disable it. A smart screen, you can disable it if you want to. Then you have some other categories like in the disk drive. You can disable the system restore, disable super fetch, disable the hibernation, disable NTFS timestamp, disable search. Then in the app section, you get disable office telemetry, disable Mozilla Firefox telemetry. I will disable it. Chrome telemetry. I will disable it. Disable Nvidia telemetry. I will disable it in the privacy. Disable telemetry task. Media player sharing, disable home group. So these are the options that you can enable here. You can disable here in order to optimize your computer. Now, once you are done, now you can come to the next category that is Windows 11. And the very first option you get is restore classic file explorer. So by default, if you are on Windows 11 and if you make a right click on the desktop, so you see the new context menu where each and every time you have to click on show more option. And if you want the old context menu of Windows 10, then you can enable this option. Then it says disable my people. You will have to enable it. Enable long path, disable TPM check. So you can also disable the TPM check in case if you are using Windows 10. Disable sensor services, remove cast to device. So these are the options, these are the features of Windows that you can disable from here. 
disable virtualization based security restore classic photo weaver so if you want the classic old classic photo weaver then you can just bring it back windows update now from here only you can disable the automatic update now this is the reason i was recommending you this tool because it gives you a tons of feature for which you have to go with a different kind of method with different kind of tool if you want to disable windows update you can directly do from here if you want to disable the microsoft store update then you can also do that you can disable the insider service you can exclude driver for update and in the taskbar align taskbar to left if you want to do that if you want to disable the widgets you can disable it disable the chat that will be your microsoft team you can disable from here then on the right hand side in the privacy section you can disable the cortana enhance privacy disable start menu add disable edge telemetry disable edge discover enable the gaming mode you can enable the game mode from here you can disable the game bar disable the windows ink disable a spell checking disable cloud clipboard and in the extra section also you get many useful feature like you can disable the snap assist you can enable the classic right click menu you can enable the compact mode in explorer and you also get an option of disabling the copilot ai so if you don't want the copilot so you can directly disable from here now next we have the uw apps so from here you can uninstall these unwanted uw application that is uh, installed on your computer so you can look over it whichever you don't need you can go ahead and uninstall from here only then you have the startup application so from here you can manage the startup application then you have the network and here you get some kind of dns server uh, information like what kind of dns currently are using i'm already using the cloudflare so it shows me cloudflare here and from here only you can flush the dns cache okay if you have any problem related to the network then you can bring up this application and you can clear the dns cache then you have the host if you want to add any kind of host file from here then you can add the ip and domain from here registry and it says fix common registry issues so you can enable them all and you can select the option that you want to fix then you can click on fix here and the problem will be resolved now additionally you get other option like hardware section where you get the complete detail about your computer like about the processor and it's a very clean way to show the information about my devices and it give me the detail information here about my cpu about my memory about my graphic card motherboard bios storage all the information you will be getting from here so this can be really useful for you if you want to collect some kind of information for any kind of troubleshooting or for any other kind of purposes all right so once you are all done finally you can click on the restart to apply changes and the process will now be started and it will be giving you the best result after applying all the changes optimizing all the settings and i would also recommend you that you should go ahead and restart the computer after applying all the changes so that you can see the difference before and after applying the changes all right so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this tool very useful and let me know that which option you like the most and if you have any kind of question, you can also let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.